I read through your kind of 2021 playbook, and to me, it's it's all about pent up demand. Is that right? Well, I think so, Kelly. I mean, what we try and do is look at history, and history tends to repeat itself. So, I mean, when I start to look back over the years and in, in what corporations have have um, uh, weathered be it uh, more restrictions, more regulations, whatever, they seem to come out okay. And now we're just dealing with this, this virus situation, and, and companies are still doing well. But the bottom line is the, the economy's in fundamentally in good shape, and there's plenty and plenty of cash on the sidelines. It's just when does the economy open up 100%? And that's the question. But where interest rates are now, what you're getting on yield versus what you're taking on risk, the only place to be really is in the stock market. Neil, what about those who say to you, okay, we're already at 30,000, we're already up whatever it is, 60% from the lows. You know, we have a market that has a lot of sentiment at extremes, call option, volume, that sort of thing, at, at the kind of highs that would indicate, you know, it's time for a, for a reset here. What gives you the optimism to say we can confidently march from 30 to 35,000? Well, first of all, let's, uh, there's a, being a shift from growth to value, and that will be a slow climb. Because if you just look at the NASDAQ, okay, up 39%. But, Kelly, if you take out Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Tesla, and Facebook, you take those six companies out, and the NASDAQ is only up 15%. So, essentially, you've had six stocks out of 3,300 move the market. That's unrealistic. But when you look at, for instance, the Dow Jones, it's yielding 2%, over 2%, versus a 10-year Treasury at 90 basis points or a 30-year Treasury at 1.6%. And to be honest with you, which I just I wasn't thinking about until this morning, a triple B bond, a lower quality average 10-year corporate bond, is yielding a little over 2%. So people are reaching for yield when they should be looking for value, and that plays into the dividend story. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.